Hey again everyone, how's it going? This is Rexfer here, and welcome back to another game X tutorial. And today what we're going to be doing is going over some jump through moving platforms. Now, really quickly before I officially begin this tutorial, I want to let you guys know that for the jump through portion of this tutorial, I'm going to be using the same exact system that I used in the last tutorial that I did, which was on regular moving platforms, or excuse me, regular jump through platforms. And we're just going to be adding the movement system uh, for the moving platform pretty much onto that, which is still very simple as well. They're both simple codes, but if you don't understand the uh, jump through code as well, um, even, you know, I've left comments on the side of it as well. Just give even more uh, explanation on as to what it does but if not you can still go to my last tutorial and check that out probably put a link in the description uh, if you want to get more insight on what that does but nonetheless let's go ahead and exit out of this and head into game maker and see how this all works so we have four sprites on the side here none of which are really too important if you really I mean if you had one sprite for every single object this would still work exactly the same so sprites really don't have anything to do with this tutorial besides just kind of showing off what everything is to kind of distinguish everything from one another so that is the role that these sprites play in this um, now for the objects of these sprites I'm gonna go and start off by the collision platform object which is our jump through platform from last tutorial uh, it has a step event and in the step event we have this very simple code here um, this is our uh, well I'm not really going to explain it because you guys can see from the comment over here essentially what it does it just checks to see if where the player is on this object and then determines whether it's solid or not so that's uh, basically creates the jump through effect alright now onto our moving platform now what we have here is a parent of our jump through platform object and if you didn't want like and if you essentially didn't want a jump through platform in your game you just wanted the jump through moving platform you go ahead and unparent this and just go in here and take this step code and go ahead and just make a step event in your uh, little moving platform jump through object and put the step code in there and that's what you would do but in my case I'm just gonna keep it like this just because that's the way I have it in the example and yeah <laughs> so anyways um, and it's more like efficient for me because it's like a jump through thing and stuff so anyways yeah <laughs> so essentially all we have going on here is uh, just a create event that has a movement speed so we have h speed equals one you could of course change the one if you want to go faster or slower all right, and then a collision with our wall object or collision object, and we simply just have h speed equals minus h speed, so it's just reversing a horizontal direction. Okay, so really not too much going on in the actual moving platform jump through object itself, uh, unless you of course wanted to put the step thing from this in there. So yeah. All right, so the collision. Um, just wanted to show you this for the sake of showing it to you. Uh, really nothing in here, just a solid object. All right, and finally the player. So. Um, again, this is pretty much the same as last time, except for instead of parenting it, uh, we have a collision with the actual jump through platform itself. Um, if you, again, just didn't want the jump through platform in your game, only the jump through moving platform, uh, you can go ahead, and this is the code that's in here, by the way, it's just checking to see if it's solid, and if it's, or if it is, go ahead and put your collision code inside these curly braces. Uh, but anyway, we just go ahead and change this to a collision with your moving platform object, and yeah that's how it would work so if you had like the step event of this code or of this object in there then yeah okay so I'm gonna go and just quickly change it back alright and collision with the collision object just again showing you for the sake of showing you same thing that's in here except for just it's not being tested so yeah that's our collision code and finally in the step event here we have now I know this looks like a lot of code but the only thing we actually need out of this is that right there um, all of this, as you can see, it's commented. It's just my gravity, <clears throat> excuse me, um, my movement for the left, my movement for the right, and my jumping. By the way, if you do copy this code, I will have it in the description just because, uh, but if you do copy this code, I'd recommend changing the jumping system because this jumping system is just for the purpose of the tutorial. It is very, like, faulty and not good to use at all, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, this code here is to actually stay on the moving platform, be able to kind of like ride with it and move with it and stuff like that. So we have if place meeting x, uh, uh, comma, y plus 1, so if it's below us, uh, obj moving platform, of course you would replace this with the name of your platform um, if it was named differently. So it's, as you can see here, it's commented. So if there's a horizontal block moving under us, uh, then our x position 
uh, plus equals instance nearest. So it's basically adding on, or well, how should I explain this? It's basically, yeah, I guess it's basically adding on the speed, because it's dot h speed, of the moving platform object and just making our player move to that speed. As you guys can see over here too, I commented on it. Uh, we move at the speed of the nearest horizontal block below us. So, yes, that is how that works. And that's actually pretty much the end of the tutorial because <laughs> you simply just go ahead and place in your moving object or your moving jump through platform in the room along with your player and some collisions, simple collision. Uh, I guess you really don't need that, but it's probably a good idea to have it just so you can see what's going on and then run the game and everything should work out nicely. So anyways, as I said earlier, if you guys do have any questions uh, or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and, you know, if you really don't want anybody else seeing that kind of stuff, uh, any you know questions that you leave or whatever, you can always send me a personal message and I'll try to get back to that as soon as possible as well. So with that, hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial, hopefully it helps you, and uh, until next time guys, until next tutorial, this has been Rex Vereen, and as always, I'll see you all then.